Hey y'all, I'm Grant from Homegrown Learners and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy Lego creation to celebrate Pi Day. Okay, so before we get into it, let's define Pi. So Pi is 3.14, that's the first three digits of it. It's also known as Archimedes constant. And just so we know, an area of a circle equals Pi times the radius squared. So let's get into building it. All right, so what you're going to need for this is a bunch of one by two bricks. And then I have a few pieces for the sky, which goes here. And you're going to need two base plates. You don't have to use them, but I'm using them. And you need to have at least enough bricks to do all of the first 10 numbers of pi. So like three bricks tall, one brick tall, four brick tall, one brick tall. You'll see how it goes. So let's get into building it. And also you can find this printable here in the link to the post we're going to do soon. So what I've done here is I've separated the two different types of things. So this base plate is going to be the towers. And this base plate is just going to be this guy. This is, again, something that you can do if you want to, but it's not, like, needed for this. So I'm just going to start building this guy. I have a bunch of uh, random white parts and yellow parts. So I'm just going to randomly put those on there. It doesn't really matter. The only thing is you probably want to have the sun in the corner like this. I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. And then we can just keep building the clouds. So it's really however you want to do it. Doesn't really matter. Just kind of make it look look pretty, you know? And then once you're done with that, then we can get into the towers. So once I finish this, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm trying to do about three clouds that are about the same size. Doesn't really matter, just how I prefer to do it. But I only have just a few pieces left here and I lost one, no. So now, just about done. I'm gonna make this one a bit of a wider cloud, okay. So now we've done, we're done with this. This is gonna go up here. It won't, it won't stand up with this base plate, but I can prop it up with something. Okay, so now we're gonna do the towers. So on, on this printout, we have all the numbers of pi, but we're only gonna be doing the first 10. So what I've done is I've gotten these bricks sorted by color. So I have, let's see, I have five reds. I have a bunch of whites, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine whites. We have five blacks, two grays, three oranges, three greens, one light green, six yellows, four blues, and one light blue. So the first number of pi is three, so we're gonna do three oranges. So I'm gonna do this about two studs back. So one, two, three. Now the next number of pi is one, so light blue, one. Then the next number is four, so I have four regular blues. So I'm actually gonna space this out by two studs. So next one is four. We can get this up. Okay, then the next one is one. So I have a light green. Next one is five, so I have five blacks. One. Two, three, no, four, five. The next number is nine, so that's my white. So then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, no, don't fall, seven, eight, Nine. If you have uh, one width on these, it's gonna be tough for, for it to stay up, but it, sh it should be okay. The next one is two, so we have two grays. Then the next one is six, so we have yellows. Once again, you don't have to have the certain colors. I just figured it would be better for the purpose of this video to be able to discern between the numbers. Ah, no. Okay, then after we have six, we then have five. So we have reds. We're almost done. Last number will be three, and that's our last number, which is greens. So now we have the pie skyline. And then what you can do is, I don't have a book with me, but we'll show you a little clip of it. Have it put together, and it makes a nice little city thing with some clouds and the sun in the background. Okay, so here's the finished skyline. Once again, you don't have to use the one by twos. I chose to do that. Same thing with the base plates because the base plate won't stand up on its own. You have to have a box behind it. 
so that's pretty much it. Just check out the printable that we're going to leave the link to in the post. And be sure to check out our other LEGO learning resources. And y'all have a good day.